You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a return customer for uh, Greater Brockton. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again, Mark. How are you? Very well, thank you. Um, you guys are still doing great things over at the Ash Street Park Neighborhood Association. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. Okay, and I have a soft space in my heart for Ash Street because I grew up on Ash Street 200 back in the day. Uh, the Bent Playground or the Ash Street Play. Everybody calls it the Ash Street Playground. It, it's officially the Harold Bent Playground. I think he was a former mayor, but nobody knows it like that. No, I actually went across um, doing some kind of research on the internet when I came across the Ash Street Park Playground, and it came to my mind. And, and when I saw that that there was a former mayor, I said, "Wow, how much I would like to know if there's any former families." alive so that I can invite them to. That's a good question. You know, you know have any you found any? Friends? I haven't found any, but there's oh, a former person. Um, I think the city council. Okay. Mr. Mr. Cruz? Mr. Tim Cruz, who knows one or two of them that are still alive. He knows everybody. And if he doesn't, <laughs> and if he doesn't, a historical society might be able to help you out and oh. find, the, find the people. I always good. thought that the parks and the places that had names should have a picture of the people too. I believe if, that if we can find so that, true. like like we we went to the Keith Park dedication, and Mr. Keith, who had the beautiful house that was on that property, that it got torn down, gotta at least have his picture up there. The history in Brockton is very interesting. But what, what what you guys are trying to do with the park, you've you've cleaned it up. It looks so much better than it did. Hopefully, there'll be a grant like. McKinley Park with the Patriots and some of the other parks that are over there to really revitalize it and maybe, you know, either res either restore the tennis courts or do something where the tennis courts are. When I went there, and now I'm dating myself, 1975 <laughs> they rebuilt that whole park oh my beginning from scratch. And then a couple of different neighborhood groups claimed it and then it kind of got abandoned again. You guys have taken up the slack and it's, it's wonderful community effort. So I applaud you for doing that. Thank you very much. Now, what you're doing coming up, though, now, is you are doing a toy drive to help out people in Brockton. You know, not every child's family in the economy that we have nowadays can afford toys. Toys are expensive. You get designer toys now. Toys cost too much. They were much more simple when I was a kid, and not to mention that they want electronics if they can well, get them, um, too. I do agree on what you're saying. They do want electronics. But do our toy drive, we do not accept electronic items or games because they're so expensive and not everyone can afford the systems they, uh, alone the games are fifty dollars a piece or more yes. and then the consoles are crazy so you're looking for good old-fashioned toys and you want to tell me about the drop-off locations there's a whole bunch of them yes there is well um ashley park neighborhood association has combined with project smart minds to continue a toy drive this is our third holiday event and every child will leave with a toy on December 16th. We do ask that everyone come in at 1 p.m. and we will have fun and activities, arts and crafts, a uh, picture with Santa. Um, and you're doing it at Dover Street. You're at doing the it at the, the Stacey Street. Adams. Yes. Because it's December 16th and you can't do it in the park. It's a no, little we cold. Cannot. It will be cold and we wouldn't want our children and families out in the cold. And if it's snowing, it's not the best place to be. No. Unless we're, you know, out there making a snowman, there then that would be different. Well, that's another event, right? We'll do <laughs> yes. another event. But you're taking the toys all the way through the 14th, which is two days before the 16th. Where are the toys being collected? Well, our and toys travel. are being collected at our locations of Supreme Pizza and Subs at 376 Center Street mm -hmm. on the east side of Brockton, Bumper to Bumper at 472 Main Street, Walgreens on 610 Pleasant Street, Vicentes at 610. Vicentes on Pleasant Street at the corner Pleasant of Warren Street. and Pleasant. Yes, yep. Executive Cuts on 104 Main Street. At Stacy Adams themselves, we have drop-off location at 33 Dover Street and at the three locations of the Brockton Public Libraries, the okay. Main Street, the East Side, and the West Side of Brockton. Um, 
the two other locations, the locations of the Brockton Public Libraries, we don't have boxes, but we are looking to put boxes there shortly because it's. And they're only open limited they're hours. Only the open, west is open 12 hours yes. and east is open 12 hours. I know because I'm on the library board. And I'm very happy that our library decided to be part of this. I'm glad that Paul and the, the staff wanted it. We, we opened the library for all sorts of activities and we have a lot of people that use the library and it's a great place to drop off. So which I think what you're doing is great. Um, the event itself is a four hour event, right on the 16th? It's a four hour event and from one to 5 p.m. There is a holiday schedule, which we will follow. Mm -hmm. And every parent will come with their child from ages one to 17, will receive a toy. And there are parents that have emailed us at ASPNAassociation@hotmail.com, And we have asked that they provide their first and last name, children's first and last name, mm -hmm. their ages and their gender, so that we can prioritize those children and have those one toy per that child when they come in. And when the toys are dropped off, I I don't want to speak for you, but I kind of guess that maybe you don't want them wrapped to start with so no, you can see they all have what to they be are. On, uh, all toys that are being dropped off at all these drop-off locations must be new and unwrapped. Okay, because otherwise, how are you going to figure out which toy goes to which yes. kit? Okay, and what are you, the ages again? From, From one to 17. That's amazing. That's, that's amazing all by. So are you getting a good response so far? Uh, so far we're getting great response. We're happy that this toy drive has taken place and we want to thank many people. Lynn Smith, Supreme Subs and Pizza, Vicentes, uh, Walgreens, the library directors, and if you can help me with her last name, the city council. Uh, yeah. Which city? In Beauregard? Yes. Okay. Thank Award you very five. much. Correct. Yep, that would make sense. <laughs> um, and I, we're not going to reveal who it is, but we're getting support from other elected officials yes, that, we are. that are helping us with Santa. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to yes. say anything more than that. We won't give it away. No. Okay. So just come and join us at 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. We're also, you know, we're having a great, we're going to have a DJ. Um, Joe Lopica. Joe's great. And I love his music. I was at one previous event where he played his music, which is actually the Jingle Bell. And the Jingle Bell, right. And Joe's yes. a great guy because he donates. He, he, he doesn't overcharge, let's put it that way. Usually he'll either donate or he, he won't cost you what a the, your typical DJ that wants a thousand dollars. I I I've used him for events. He's a wonderful community he's spirited a, he's guy. He's a great guy. You know, he loves to engage with children. And So I got a minute, what they told me, and I need a few seconds of that. So is there, you gave the website, is there a phone number in case anybody wants to call? Some people don't do websites or phone numbers, a, um, a telephone number? Yes, they can call 508-510-9794 and also 774-823-2218. And you can contact Grizel Quinones or Rigoberto Quinones. Okay, and it's a family event. You guys, your whole family is involved. You, your husband, and, and your, children. Kid, your children yes. are all at, at these events. And my, one of the children will be dressed as an elf. Okay. Which, we, won't, we won't give that away either. No. you got to be there. So I just got the cue. Thanks for being on. Thank you very much. And we will see you soon. Thank okay? you. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.